Hi everyone, it's Claire back again with another video. Today I'm going to go through 10 new Polish Me Royalty polishes. These were sent to me for free by Sarah at Polish Me Royalty for swatching and review. Um, so we're going to have a look at them today and I'm going to give you my honest opinion. Uh, spoiler, I do love this, this brand and everything that she sent me um, that hasn't been a, a prototype in development has been absolutely amazing. Um, even the polishes that I've thought, I'm not so sure about the colour, not so sure about the chunky glitters or the finish, but it's just keep, keeps on surprising me every time. Um, so I'm going to go through these, these 10 polishes with different, um, I've put top coats on some and comparisons with others. Um, so the first two that we're going to look at is actually a duo. Um, now I know the lighting isn't, I know that the screen's a lot smaller and hopefully you'll still be able to see all of this and, and hear everything. Um, but the reason that I'm doing this now is, I've, you can see I've got this window of bright midday sunshine which is really showing up the finishes on some of these polishes. So I wanted to use this opportunity to, to have a look in a bit more detail at the brand and at the new polishes that have been sent and that are available on the Etsy shop. Um, incidentally, there is a code that Sarah's given me for my followers and subscribers. So it's Claire Gray PMR. And if you use that code um, through the Etsy store on, um, if you go to Instagram, Polish Me Royalty, and in the bio, there is a link to the website, to the Etsy store. Um, and when you're making your purchase, if you put that code in, Claire Gray PMR, um, and you're in the UK, it's free UK shipping on all Polish Me Royalty orders over £2. But, um, I mean, you'd have to make one purchase for it to be £2. Um, so that's that's a great deal. You don't have to, you know, that's and it's always great to not have to worry about the cost of postage and packaging. So there you go. I'll link that code in the description box down below as well. So the first two that we're going to look at of the 10 is actually a duo. Um, and these two polishes were developed um, for Sarah's mum, Mrs P. And these are based on two albums that she, uh, that she likes. I know it's associated with music. This deep purple plum shade that's got this amazing shimmer, silver iridescent shimmer running through that. So there it is close up, there it is in the sun. So you can wear this on its own um, and here it is on its own on the swatch wheel. It's a great purpley plum colour fantastic just on its own and then the other part of the duo is this fantastic silver again very versatile polish this is brilliant highlights and this one here sorry is deep shadows so deep shadows is the plum and brilliant highlights is the silver it can be a topper, you can get this opaque on its own. So here it is on my swatch wheel, that's three coats on its own, but it can be opaque. And hopefully you can see that, I'll bring that up a little bit closer. So it's it's actually a, trans, it's a transforming polish. So what it does is it actually, you can use it as a topper to transform a darker polish. Um, a darker polish will stand out a bit more and you get a slightly different effect. So before I, we look at them together, what I did here, because it when I wore it on its own it really did, I dinked that a little bit so just ignore that. Um, but when I wore this on its own, so there it is there. Um, I thought it really is like a shiny metallic on the nail. 
So I always compare shiny metallics, particularly silvers, to OPI's push and shove, which is this one here, which is one, one coat, super mirror effect, silver metallic. And it is as bright and it definitely is as shiny. Uh, but the Polish Me Royalty, because the finish is more shimmery, you get that extra shimmer as well. You get that extra glittery shine in the sun. So yeah, and together... Um, where am I now? Yes, together they look like this. <clears throat> so you can see it transforms the... Where's, there you go. So that's the deep shadows, brilliant highlights, and that's what they look like together. And that's one coat of each. So it just gives you a completely different look. The sun is moving around all the time, so I'm going to have to be quick uh, to make sure we can catch some of these shimmers. So that's the first two polishes, the duo set there. The next one is this really deep dark navy colour with um, a very very subtle tiny like very m finely milled holographic shimmer so that's the colour and there is the shimmer I'm going to get to what's on my nails in a minute and this is, I've lost the label for this, but this is called Pan, P-A-N. Uh, the next polish is the one that I'm wearing, which is this beautiful black scattered holographic, and this is called Rice And. And so this is what it looks like close up. Let's see if we can see anything inside the bottle in this light. No. Nope. This is what it looks like in the sunshine. Can you see that? The holographic, and you can see that on my nail as well, so it translates beautifully to the nail. It just dances in the sunlight. So this is what I have on my nails today. And Sarah's mum sends these little nail um, nail confetti um, of all different shapes and sizes, so you can have a bit of fun with nail art. But uh, yeah, absolutely mesmerising, scattered holographic. I'd love this one. Um, and there it is without a top coat, but there it is on my nails with a top coat. So that's the beautiful black scattered holographic rice and. Okay, next up is, um, you know, I like my greens, and this is a really unusual green. Um, this is called, oops, do very well with the labels today, fingers and thumbs, this is Sage. So it's a soft metallic green, but it's got this ashy hue to it that just takes the, 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 it's just gorgeously soft. It's not a, it's not a bright green um, and it's not a, a kind of khaki army green. It's so difficult to describe. Uh, if you like Quality Street, you know, the green foil chocolates in Quality Street, um, it's a little bit like that on the nail. So this, oops, that there. this is, the swatch here up close it's for the colour and in the sunlight again you've got that holographic shimmer not as strong as um, rice and but it just gives it that little bit of something else the next one is again Sarah's been um, developing linear holographic so this is where the holographic rather than being scattered 
you can actually see it here. It goes in, it's like it runs in one straight line. Um, and yeah, that that's it's a it's a, a soft grey, a soft grey silver. And in the sunlight, hopefully there you can see the linear holographic. You can see it there in the polish. So you can see the it has this rainbow effect on the nail. Absolutely gorgeous. Um hope you can see that. There you go. If I bring it up any closer I'll lose the sun. But there it is. The next polish is this gorgeous red I'll just show you that. Can you see that there? No. <laughs> Uh, this is a beautiful red. Oh, oh, by the way, sorry, This the green was called Sage, I think I mentioned that. And this beautiful silver grey linear holographic is called Mortal Coil. Um, and then we have a red polish, um, which, oh, and I've put a top coat on there. Maybe you can see the holographic, linear holographic a bit better. Uh, the red is called, is a, a red jelly and it's a very tomato, bright tomato red. And this is called Vampire Heart. And as I was applying this, I thought, oh, it's, it's not quite a jelly, it's not quite a cream, so it probably is a crelly. I'm going to see if I can do what's called a jelly sandwich, which is where you put a layer of um, colour and then you top it with some glitters. So what I did was I put a red and then I topped it with a layer of Ziggy Stardust glitter. And then the final coat is another red. So you're sandwiching the glitter in between the two color, the, the, the blocks, the two layers of color. And this is what it looks like. I'm hoping that you can see that there is a holographic shimmer in there, but it's like it's caught the glitters in jelly and there's a real depth to it. So it just gives that red a little bit of an extra edge. And that's what you call a jelly sandwich. If you had polishes that were a little bit more translucent, you'd be able to see the glitters a little bit more and to the eye you can really see the the shine on that but yeah i need better technical know-how and better equipment <laughs> so that's vampire heart the next two polishes we'll have a look at this first so this is a pink one coater matte finish and it's called razor blade romance which I believe is named after a, an al one of Sarah's favourite albums. And this is a pink, and I'm hoping in the sun you can see that it's got a blue iridescent shimmer running through it. So on the nail, so this is in matte, on the nail it's got this soft satin sheen that gives, gives this polish a blue undertone, and which you can see a little bit more clearly when you put a top coat on. There's the vampire heart there in the sun sunlight. But that is Razor Blade Romance. And the last one is this is Alien Vacation. Uh, and again, it's a very, 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 very bright green bordering on neon. If you wear it on its own, it looks like this. So it dries matte. There it is. So it dries matte. I think if you can see the difference here, I've put it on also under a white base. It really doesn't like to pick up the very brights and neons, but um, under a white base, it just gives it, there you go, a little bit more brightness. So it becomes neon 
under a white base and that's it under a white base with a top coat. The very last polish to show you is a top coat actually that Sarah's developed. I've almost I've used nearly all of it already. Uh, this is great and it's called Looking Glass and it's part of the Alice in Wonderland collection that Sarah's just released. Um, so you can have a look at all of that on the Polish Me Royalty Etsy shop. Um, so that's it for me for now. I really do hope that even though it's very narrow and the screen's getting narrower, that you are, were able to see some of the shimmer and shine and glitters in these polishes. Really recommend them. And if you're going to go shopping, make sure you use that code if you're in the UK for free postage and packing. Uh, the next couple of videos that I've got coming up are my favourite pinks. And I'm also going to do my top 10 Essie polishes. Um, but Annika, Annika, my friend Nails by Newbie, is um, she's getting a bit of an obsession with Essie polishes. So I said, well, before you start buying lots of them, let me tell you which ones are, are good and with a good formula. So I'm going to give her a sample of the Essie polishes to, to help her with her purchases. Uh, because that's what we're like in the nail community. It's just constant enabling of each other to buy nail polishes. <laughs> well, that's how it is. Um, okay, you see that dancing around in the sunlight. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you next time. Bye.